Hi, my name is Asfar and I'm a Pakistani Muslim. And we'd like to say something. We're from the part of the world called South Asia. And by the way, that's not the Middle East. And we would like to talk about the recent Paris attacks. When I saw this on TV, I was honestly really gutted and I was really emotional because of so many people died. And this is something that we can totally relate to because this is really common in Pakistan. For me, it reminded me of the attack on the APS school in Peshawar. And that was like very horrifying. So, you know, it just brought all of that back. These events should not happen anywhere in the world, let alone in Paris or Pakistan. We just wanted people to we just wanted them to know that we share their grief. But we are not going to be apologetic about it. And here's why. We cannot possibly be held responsible for the actions of a few deranged individuals who somehow claim to be like us. Basically, uh, we just wanted to clarify that, you know, for this act, you cannot blame the entire 1.6 billion population of Muslims around the world for this. This is just a very small faction who somehow claim to be like us. But, you know, we just felt that there was a need to clarify this all around the world. and. That was the basic motivation for us. Well, the main message was for people to understand that Muslims or Pakistanis, if you are of any nationality or any religion, the one thing that we share in common is humanity. Trust me, the only time an average Muslim is frustrated is when Nutella is out of stock. Angry? When we lose at FIFA. Annoyed? When we don't get our morning coffee. Wanted to throw something out there that everybody in the world, no matter where they're living, they can relate to it. You know, okay, we drink coffee and you drink coffee. And if we don't get our morning coffee, we get annoyed just like you do. So, you know, we're the same as you. My message to the people of Paris is that they should stay strong and not uh, be afraid. We completely understand what you guys are going through. And uh, trust me, the feeling's not good. You guys have been wounded, we've been wounded, and we should heal together and not point out fingers at each other. In all honesty, we're the same people as you. We have the same fundamental problems that you have. We have the same hopes, dreams, and ambitions as you. And when we go to bed at night, we fall asleep, hoping and praying to wake up to a better world for all of us.